Hey guys, welcome to the Unity Target Mode Tutorial Part 2. Today we're making the FPS controller and the basic bounds of our level. So right now, go into the sample scene hierarchy and make a 3D object, a cube. And we're just going to scale it out to make it... Oh, transform, reset. We're going to scale it out make the Y only one and make these 20 and 20 because that's a good size. We're gonna bring this target up and now we can start making our controller. So let me make another 3D object, make a cylinder or a capsule, it doesn't matter. I'll do a cylinder because I like that better. And we'll make this uh, scale Y 1.8, and that's good. We can bring it down a bit to here. And then inside of it, make an empty and bring this down and call this grounded or ground check. And then make a camera in or bring this camera inside of it and uh, reset the transform of it so and then bring it up to around the head now what we need to do is on the cylinder we need to add a component a character controller and that's about it now we can add a script for character or we'll call it FPS movement new script and we'll add that to the scene now double click it and it'll open in Visual Studio so you need to have that installed we don't need void start we can delete that and make public character controller and call that controller then um, public public um, float walk speed equals 10f and we'll make public float gravity equals negative 9.81 F and public float jump height equals 3F. So that's just our basic stuff. Now we can do public game object ground check and public bool grounded. That's actually public transform ground check. And then we also make public float ground distance. And we'll make that point or 0.4F. And public layer mask ground mask. There we go. So that's it for right now that's all our variables oh we take off the public for the bool and we also make velocity or vector 3 velocity now that's all of our update or that's all our variables so now in void in void update we'll make grounded equals ground check physics physics dot check sphere ground check ground distance ground check dot position ground distance and ground mask 
and that's the bool. Now we'll do float x equals input dot get axis quotation horizontal and float y equals input dot get axis vertical. So now we have the inputs ready. That's actually float z because y is up. So now we do vector three move equals transform dot write times x plus transform dot forward times z. Now we do controller dot move equals parentheses move times walk speed times time dot delta time. We don't do equals. That should be it for right now. Let's go into Unity, Control S to save it, and then if we go into Cylinder, we can set the controller to the character controller in the cylinder, and the ground check to the ground check, and the ground mask, we can set the cube we made, make a new layer, and make that ground, and then set that layer to ground. So now if we play it, we should be able to walk around using the WASD or the arrow keys. And there's the target. So, you may be asking, what if you want to jump? Now, we do if parentheses it, uh, if grounded and velocity dot y is less than zero then we'll do curly curly brackets and then curly brackets and velocity dot y equals negative 2f so that will reset the gravity so that it won't always be slammed down so now if if input dot get button down jump in in quotes and rounded that's a double and we do velocity dot y equals math f dot square root parentheses jump height times negative 2f times gravity. Now we just do velocity dot y equals gravity times time dot delta time, which will make it an exponential function. You could also do gravity times itself, but it's better if you just do this. And then you do, oh, that requires a colon. And then we just do a vector or controller dot move parentheses velocity times time dot delta time. So if we save this and then we go into Unity, if we now press spacebar, what? Did I? We have to make the ground mask ground. So now if we press spacebar. What? Hello. I found the problem. You got to do velocity y plus equals gravity times time dot delta time and then save it. And now 
it should work. Let's see. Yes, we can jump. And you can adjust the gravity. I like it better at uh, when it's double the gravity. So now it'll be like this. Okay. So now we can't look around, and that's a problem. So go into the main camera and add a component. We'll call it mouse look and make a new script and create an ad and double click it in void start we're gonna make cursor dot lock state eager equals cursor lock mode dot lock and cursor dot visit oh we need a thing there cursor dot visible equals false so that'll just make it so you can't move your cursor and it, the visible it's invisible so now in front of everything do public float uh, sensitivity and public transform player we'll call it player and float x rotation equals 0x in void update we'll do float mouse x equals input dot get axis in parentheses or in quotations mouse x times mouse sense or just sensitivity times time dot delta time and then oh hold on and then float dot mouse y equals input dot get access mouse y times sensitivity times time dot delta time x rotation equals or er, negative equals mouse y x rotation equals math f dot clamp x rotation negative 90 90 and put x here so now transform dot local rotation equals x rotation oh in parentheses x rotation comma zero comma zero quaternion dot euler there we go finally player dot rotate vector three dot up times x rotation let's save this go into unity and see if it works go into main camera and make the player the cylinder oh do we ever set the sensitivity sensitivity should be equal to 200 f at default now if we go in here Sensitivity is still at zero, so we'll make that 200. It should work now. Whoa. Something is wrong. It's because player.rotate was supposed to be vector3.up times mouse x. Let's save that and see if it works. It does. I like the sensitivity more around. 400 because 200 seems a little sluggish to me so let's see how that fixes it yes much better now you have a first person controller that you can move around and look around and your cursor is locked to this window so i hope you guys like it next episode we're making a target function and we're gonna make it so that the target will teleport whenever you shoot it Oh, no, we're not. That's episode for this episode. We're making a gu basic gun script, 
and make it so it can shoot and with ray casting so yeah hope you guys like it uh stay tuned for that tutorial and we'll see you next time bye